Anthony Grasso here bringing you financial news that you can use. This particular video, I'm going to do a stock review on Bluebird Bio. Is this struggling biotech company worth investing in right now? And is it currently a candidate for a short squeeze? Well, let's find out together. I'm going to go over a summary of the company, its product offerings, recent headline news, financials, analyst projections, and I'm going to give it my buy, hold, or sell recommendation in two parts to your long term growth investors out there and the short term day traders out there. And as always, folks, don't forget to smash that like button down below it definitely helps and consider subscribing and hit that notification bell if you like to hear daily stock reviews and recommendations from an unbiased source so let's get right into it so as always this video is brought to you by weevil where you can buy and it's an online brokerage trading platform where you can buy stocks options etfs and cryptocurrencies if you sign up today and deposit any amount you can get up to 12 free stocks by using my referral link in the description down below all right, so Bluebird Bio is a biotechnology company that researches, develops, and commercializes transformative gene therapies for several genetic diseases. It has many product candidates for severe genetic diseases that includes the treatment of transfusion-dependent uh, B-thalassemia, uh, now the treatment of sickle cell disease, and treatment of cerebral andronoleukodystrophy. Now, the company's clinical study program evaluates the safety and efficacy of Lovo cell in the treatment of patients with sickle cell disease and others to evaluate the safety and efficacy of Bite cell in the treatment of patients with B. Thal as a sem yeah. It has strategic collaborations and license agreements with Orchard Therapeutics Limited, 47 Incorporated, and Magna. Uh, Magenta Therapeutics Incorporated. Now, the company was formerly known as Genetics Pharmaceuticals and changed its name to Bluebird Bio in September 2010. Uh, Bluebird Bio was incorporated in 1992 and is headquartered in Cambridge, Massachusetts. All right, so some of the news that came out, which is some of the biggest news that came out, and this was yesterday. So the stock price initially jumped up on the news for Bluebird's bio game changing therapy for rare blood disorders that was cleared by the FDA. Now the US Fug, uh, Food and Drug Administration on Wednesday cleared the treatment uh, Zyntelglow for patients with genetic disease called beta thalassium who rely on regular blood transfusions. The one-time therapy is intended to replace blood transfusions and cost around $2.8 million per patient. So that's a lot of revenue potential. Now, Bluebird said it would reimburse health insurers for up to 80% of the cost of the treatment stops working within two years. So that's also a big thing. They're gonna, they're gonna say, hey, we're gonna, we're gonna charge you this, but we'll give it back to you if it doesn't work. So they might have to pull back some of that revenue long-term, who knows? Of the 1,500 patients in the U.S. dependent upon blood transfusions, an estimated 850 of them are healthy enough to reserve uh, to receive this gene therapy. Now, so if you do the math, 2.8 million per patient, and there's 850 patients are eligible, means the revenue potential would be about 2.38 billion dollars, if 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 that's if that's true. Now, do recall that Bluebird in April said it was uh, slashing spending and cutting its workforce so that it could survive, just the company can survive in, into the first half of 2023. Now, Bluebird has raised capital in recent months and that the FDA approval yesterday had also helped shore up the company's financial position. Now, Bluebird received the FDA um, a, a so-called priority review voucher, which can be used in the future to have the FDA speed up its drug review process for any future drug approvals. Now, the vouchers, which can be sold between companies, were created by Congress to promote drug development for rare diseases. Now, the company may sell the voucher, which could fetch between 100 million and 110 million at the going rates to help you know shore up some more cash. Bluebird hopes to receive a second voucher that it could sell if another of its drugs under the review is approved next month. So they do have another drug that's in pipeline for approval next month. Now, despite the approval, though, Bluebird will likely continue to face challenges in regaining investor confidence right now. And we can see that with the short interest just climbing and climbing and climbing. And the sales of this new gene therapy, Zynteglo, uh, are unlikely to provide any significant source of revenue in the near term. So let's go ahead and look at some of the fundamentals of this company right now. So the, the stock is currently trading at $5.83 a share with a market capitalization of roughly around $455 million. 
Now, the company is projected to have only $43 million in total revenue for fiscal year 2022 with negative earnings of $351 million. Now, the revenues are projected to increase over the next few years to around $166 million by the end of 2023, with earnings still being negative $213 million. Now, this is the hardest thing about biotechnology companies, figuring out what's the exact uh, number for their revenues based on the approved drugs and the um, and, and the ones in pipeline and how long it's going to take for them to actually see the revenue from approved drugs. But it's but on a positive note, the projection of its revenue is forecasted to grow about 43 percent per year. Now, let's look at some of the key measures and look at some analysis uh, specifically regarding this company because the earnings of bluebird are not available or negative uh, the price to sales and the price to book ratios are the most appropriate valuation measures therefore bluebird seems expensive right now with the price to sales ratio of 75 times above the biotechnology industry median of 12.78 times which is supported by a price to book ratio of 2.42 times that is also above the industry median of 1.81 uh, one times now looking at the profitability of this company right now now based on its gross operating and net margins bluebird has a cost structure that eats up a percentage of its revenues and is among the highest of any company in the biotechnology industry to make matters worse the company is losing money on an operating basis and currently it's unprofitable and that forecast to be profitable over the next three years well, that's definitely not good and they're eating too much cash up and i'll get into that so uh, unlike unlike all the other peers they do not pay a dividend and looking at its growth rates analysis all through earnings at bluebird grew over the past 12 months they failed to keep pace with the growth in revenues this means that the company is becoming less efficient at using its resources however this result was better than that of the average company in the biotech uh, industry and looking finally, let's look at the financial strength of the company. They have little to no debt in its capital structure, but they are burning through its cash like it's nobody's business right now. They only have a one year of cash runway. I have to note that significant, also significant insider trading uh, was selling over the past three months and significant dilution of shares. Shareholders have been diluted in the past year with total shares outstanding growing by 14.1%. That's huge. Dilution of shares is never good for existing investors. So what do the analysts specifically say regarding this company? So they currently have a hold 72%, say a hold recommendation over the next 12 months. And the, the average price target over the next year is $7.50 a share with a high estimate of 11 and a low estimate of 2. And going over a few of the analyst research reports, well, Ford Equity Research uh, isn't isn't covering uh, biotech right now. And the street ratings uh, last report, which March 28th, and have not updated the recommendation. But back then they said they have a sell recommendation on Bluebird. Now, this is driven by multiple uh, weaknesses, which they believe should have a greater impact than any of the strengths and can make it more difficult for investors to achieve positive results compared to most of the stocks they cover. Now, the company's weaknesses can be seen in multiple of areas such as deteriorating net income, disappointing return on equity, and generally disappointing historical performance in the stock itself. So let me bring it back over here. So based on all this information, what are my what is my recommendation? Am I buy, hold, or sell recommendation on Bluebird? Here are my thoughts. Bluebird will most likely continue to face challenges in regaining investor confidence, and the Zen Tanglo sales are unlikely to provide a significant source of revenue in the near term right now. They're pretty cash constrained at this point in time. There has been multiple research and development, regulatory and commercialization setbacks for Bluebird in the past. Now, the company is hoping to keep the business afloat right now. I mean, as we saw back in April, they brought out the cost cutting acts. Now, remember in April, Bluebird said that they were cutting 30% of its workforce in the hopes of extending its cash runway into the first half of 2023. Now, this came after the company uh, warned of its dire financial situation back in March. Now, this measure strikes hardest for the research team, the longer term product differentiation efforts, near term launch preparations and general and administrative teams. Now, this is a highly speculative bet. 
I mean, as we know that biotechnology stocks have the potential to provide investors with incredible returns. Even analysts at financial institutions can have a poor track record when they're trying to predict the performance of a biotech company. Now, the business of curing diseases can be a very lucrative one, as we can see $2.8 million per gene therapy, and investors will jump on the bandwagon for any stock that shows the promise of big breakthroughs. But there is a huge percentage of the short position out there, and I'm definitely going to get into that in my recommendation. So there's a lot of people betting this is going to tank even further, uh, but they do have good news. So they have good news. They initially jumped up in the stock price today, and then they went back down. So I'm going to break my recommendation into two parts, one for the long term growth investor and second for the short term investor out there now. OK, so for the long term growth investors, this is an extremely risky bet at this moment in time. There are too many future unknowns of this company and biotechnology companies rise and fall based on the FDA approvals for those drugs and therapies, even though they did get one major approval yesterday and they're projecting another one in a month or two, they will keep having to find the next one and the next one and the next one. So even if they, they get two approved this year, by the end of the year, they still have to figure out what's their next year. Now, the, comp the company itself currently is fundamentally flawed, and I don't see any significant upside potential based on the significant downside risk at this moment in time in the near term. In addition, I see potentially significant future stock dilution to keep afloat past the 2023. They're doing everything they can right now to cut costs, get money, sell their vouchers, to, to, to just stay afloat. But they, they run through cash like it's nobody's business. So based on all of that, for the long-term growth investor out there, I am a sell recommendation out there with only a 12 month price target of only eight dollars a share sustained now for the short term investors out there day traders out there this is one you want to keep on your watch list right now to trade the swings in addition with the high percentage of short positions look for a possible short squeeze coming in the future now a short squeeze might even help with keeping this company afloat depending on how, how the stock price uh, can be squeezed there's no news regarding any potential short squeeze at this moment in time, but I see it's being talked about right now on social media message boards at this moment in time. So just be careful. You don't want to be the one holding the bag and it's hard to uh, predict exactly how high this goes and when the pullback comes. So just uh, be careful out there. So there you have it, folks. And as always, don't forget to smash that like button down below and consider subscribing and hit that notification bell if you like your daily stock reviews and recommendations from an unbiased source. Until the next stock update video later today, folks. Ciao.